परमहंस महाराज एवं उपस्थित समस्त वैष्णव विष्णु के चरण कमलों में I offer my tender pranams to everybody. It's so for, so fortunate and confidential thing that today we all are sitting under the beautiful shelter of Chila Gurudev. And in the month of Purushottam, we are listening to Srimad Bhagavatam. When Jeevas when then they sit in front of Santa Mahatma and they drink the nectar of Bhagavad Katha Amrit. Especially this is Adhik Mahina, like Adhik month, Purushottam month. This Purushottam month, if you listen Bhagavad Katha in the the guidance of sadhu this is very rare not everyone is fortunate enough for this opportunity even people try but they don't get it why because if past life sukritis are not there then it is impossible but God gives mercy See, he's very merciful. He has given us this fortune to sit here and listen. This Harikatha. And especially in the month Purushottam month, listening Bhagavad Katha, we all got the good fortune to listen to Bhagavad Yesterday, I told you about the birth heel of Sukhdev Goswami Pad. So Sukhdev Goswami Pad, yesterday, I told you about this, that Parikshit, Sukhdev Goswami Pad was explaining his past life to Parikshit Maharaj. Sukhdev Goswami was explaining. Sukhdev Goswami Pad, in his past life, he was a parrot of Srimati Radhika. Shuk Pakshi like this is a beautiful uh, parrot of Srimati Radhika. Aduna. Sukhdev Goswami Pad. And the same parrot appeared in form of Sukhdev Goswami Pad. We all heard about this yesterday, right? And especially the Samikrishi son. He cursed Parikshit Maharaj that within after seven days the takshak snake will come and bite him this curse was there and in essence quickly i expressed this katha yesterday the life biography of parikshit maharaj the life of Parikshit Maharaj. Sukhdev uh, Goswami Pad told everything to him. When there is character of Parikshit Maharaj expressed in Mahabharat. So for 18 days, the battle of Guru, of the battle, on the day when the son of Pandu, Bhim, he he, he broke the thigh of Duryodhan. Duryodhan, on the battlefield of Kurukshetra, he was lying down. The, he was bleeding. He's about to die. He's taking his last breaths. And all his family and brothers, all his brothers were dead. Only Bhim, Bhim, he killed hundred brothers. Duryodhan, he was just taking his last breaths. In the meantime, in the midnight, at the same time, Dronacharya's son, Ashwatthama, he came. And Ashwatthama came and said, Oh dear friend, you, 
You made everyone commander of the army, but if you had given me this post of commander of our army for one day, then you would have won the battle. You would have won the battle. Duryodhan, he said. Duryodhan said, so okay, whatever has happened, it has happened in the battle of Kurukshetra. For the first 10 days, Bhishma Pitama was the commander of the army, controller of the army. And then Dronacharya was there, was the commander of the army. And, and then Karna. And like this, the Katha proceeds. So, Ashwatthama is saying, if you had made me commander of army for one day, then you would have won the battle. Duryodhan, he asked what to do. So, whatever was meant to happen, it happened. So, at that time, at night, Ashwatthama said, Okay, please uh, declare me and I'll make me the commander of army now. Duryodhan said, I'm about to die. What's the benefit? Ashwatthama said, No problem. At the, before you die, I will prove you that you have won the battle. What is the meaning? What he was planning to do, he said, I will bring the heads of Pandavas. I will cut their throats and bring their heads to you. Yudhishthir Bhim Arjun Nakul Sahadev. Five Pandavas, their heads I will bring to you. At least see that you have won before you die. And same night, in the midnight, what did Duryodhan do? From his blood, so from the, from his thigh, the blood was coming. He he put that tilak on his thumb, and he put the tilak on the head of Ashwatthama and declared him the commander of the army. It was not possible to fight at night. But look, what did Ashwatthama do? He came where five Pandavas were sitting there. And at that time, five Pandavas, Yudhishthir Bhim Arjuna Kul Sahadev, they became so happy, they were uh, going to celebrate their victory. Why? Because all the Kauravas were dead. Was there anyone alive? And Duryodhan, he is just lying on the battlefield of Kurukshetra and he's about to die. He is just taking his last breaths, so we have won the battle. But look, God Krishna, he said, Oh dear Pandavas, listen. A snake, so don't trust that the snake is dead until and unless the snake's last breaths are gone and you've burned the snake's body. Don't believe that the snake is dead. The snake can become alive anytime. Even a dead snake can become alive. Even a dead snake can become alive. So don't think that Duryodhan, he's breathing, he's alive. Don't think that he's dead. Don't, don't think that you have won the battle yet because Duryodhan is still breathing. He's alive in the battlefield of Kurukshetra. But look, Pandavas, they were, were feeling very proud on their victory. And that we have won. This was their mood. And Leela Purushottam, he knows. He knows what will happen and what will not. God said, okay, I will go to another place. Okay, so go and celebrate victory to another place. 
So in the tent, so in the tent where the five Pandavas used to live, Krishna, he took the Pandavas and Draupadi to another place to celebrate the victory. And those Pandavas place on the tent of Pandavas, Draupadi's five children, they were sleeping. In the same tent where Pandavas used to live, there were five children who were sleeping, and Draupadi's brother Drishtadyum, Draupadi's brother Drishtadyum, was there with them. And here, Ashwatthama came. And at that time, Mahadev, Lord Shiva, the demigods of all demigods, he was protecting that tent. He was guarding the tent. Even a mosquito could not enter inside. God said to Mahadev, Today night is the last night of the battle. In the core of Pandavas, this is the last night. Meaning, this is this is the like decision-making night, like who is winning and who has lost the battle. But today is the decision-making night. So, you protect this tent. So Mahadev, Lord Shiva, he protected that tent. And here, okay, he came and said to Mahadev, Prabhu, I want to take the darshan of Pandavas. Ashwatthama came and said, he said, the battle has ended. Now, I just want to take darshan of Pandavas. Mm. Lord Shiva said, Ashwatthama, I have instructions of God. Even a mosquito cannot enter inside. But look, Ashwatthama, what did he do? He started to glorify Lord Shiva. Bholenath ki jai. He is very humble. Bhole means humble. He brought a bail patra, the leaf of bail and some Ganga water, if you put uh, offer it on Shivji, then Shivji becomes happy, Lord Shiva becomes happy, he's pleased, no, nothing else to do. That's why one of the Lord Shiva's name is Ashutosh, you don't have to do anything else, just offer Ganga water and Bail Patra, we have seen the Bail Patra, right? Just put some Ganga water and say Namah Shivai and put it on the head of Lord Shiva and you can ask for any benediction. Nothing else you need to do. That's why Ashwatthama, like this, he put uh, Bail Patra, the leaf of Bail on the head of Lord Shiva, and he put one drop of Ganga water on the head of Lord Shiva. That Prabhu, just give me instruction. I just want to go and I will take Darshan of Pandavas and I will come out. Well, just go and come. Just one second. But just one second, I will go and come. Lord Shiva said, Okay, go quickly and come quickly. Then look what happened. What did Ashwatthama do? He took out his sharpest of arrow. He took out five arrows, five sharp arrows, and he slit the throat. He cut the throat of all the Pandavas and he also killed the Drishtadyum by cutting his throat. So he brought the five heads because he cut the heads right so he brought the five heads outside where Duryodhan was taking his last breath. He reached that place. He, he was about to die in a few seconds. Ashwatthama came and said, Oh dear friend, this look, you have won. I am holding the heads of Pandavas. They all are dead now. You have won now. May your soul rest in peace. That time, Duryodhan, oh dear friend, 
Give me the head of beam. Give me the big head of beam. That beam has killed my hundred brothers. So look, the biggest head was whose? Bhim. He gave the big head to him. And Duryodhan's head. And what did Duryodhan do? Duryodhan squeezed that head. With his two hands, he squeezed that head. And there's like a mushroom. So like a mushroom, when you squeeze squeeze the mushroom, it sticks, it squeezes quickly. Then similarly, the head it got squeezed. It broke like it's got, like came between two hands. So he said, Duryodhan said, I cannot believe this is the head of Bhim. I know when I was attacking with my weapon, my mace on the head of Bhim, with the attack of my weapon, when it touched the head of beam, it was making large sound. The head of beam was extremely hard and strong. It was like the strongest of iron. This head is not the head of beamer. This is not the. These are not the heads of Pandavas. Duryodhan said. In the meantime, the electricity, uh, the lightning happened. Then Duryodhan looked. In reality. They were not the head of Pandavas. They were head of fools then. They were the head of the five children of Draupadi. Duryodhan said, Ashwatthama, what have you done? I was Yudhishthira Bhima. Their Pandavas were my enemy. Their children were not my enemy. You have destroyed their generation. Very poor, very bad, very bad. Look, Duryodhan said this and he took his last breath and he died. Ashwatthama was thinking that Pandavas were alive. They will definitely come after me and they will not spare me, they will not leave me because I have killed their children, especially Bhim and Arjun. They will come behind me. Where shall I go? He was thinking that I should go take shelter of Vyasdev and ask for a process of repentation. If you have done sin, then you have to do repentation or not. So like this, he thought and Ashwatthama, he went to Vyasadev. He reached there. And here, God, the Leela Purushottam, Supreme Personality of Godhead, He knows everything. At the midnight, God, Krishna said, Look, Yudhishthir, it's too late now. Go and sleep in your tent. Take some rest in your tent. The five Pandavas and Draupadi, they came in that tent and what did they see? They saw the head was missing in the bodies of the five children. And she also saw his brother Dhyum's body lying on the, on the floor. So Draupadi started to weep so much. Who killed my children? She said. He asked to Lord Shiva, tell me. Mahadev, Shiva, Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva said, Ashwatthama came. For one second he wanted to take darshan and then he went away. Bhim and Arjun. They thought what to do now. Lord Krishna said, Bhim Arjun, let's go. Wherever Ashwatthama is, we will, we shall punish him. Let's go. Krishna himself, he took Bhim and Arjun with him. 
And while walking, he reached Vyasadev. And in the same time, Ashwatthama say, Hey Vyasadev, I have done this big sin. I have killed the children of Draupadi. I cut their heads. And I gave to Duryodhan. Tell me how can I repent of this sin? How can I correct this sin? So that time Bhima and Arjun came. I, we will tell you how to repent. Vyasadeva, how can he tell? So Bhima and Arjun came very angrily and they said, We will tell you how to repent. Come here. Then Ashwatthama saw it behind. Many otherwise, he saw like the time. Kala, like the death was standing in front of him, he saw. Then Ashwatthama started to run. Ashwatthama started to run. And in the behind him, Bhim and Arjun, they started to run behind him. But then they saw, Ashwatthama saw that Bhim and Arjun, they came near him. They were just about to catch him. And at that time, what happened? He took out, he summoned his Brahmastra, like the powerful weapon of the universe. Brahmastra, the weapon of Brahma. What happens when you fire a Brahmastra? All the universe is destroyed. This is the power of Brahmastra. So Krishna said to Arjun, Arjun, you also summon your Brahmastra. Use it. Use your use the Brahmastra. So Arjun heard this. And Arjun also, he called his Brahmastra. So one Brahmastra can destroy the universe. So two Brahmastra, if they will collide, then what will happen? Can you even imagine? At that time, Vyasadeva said, What are you guys doing? This is not right. Vyasadeva. Hey Krishna. Hey Krishna. What have you done? In one Brahmastra, the whole universe will be destroyed. And you are uh, like call, trying to collide two Brahmastras with each other. Call them back. At that time, Arjun, he called back his Brahmastra. And he said, Ashwatthama. You also call back your Brahmastra. But Ashwatthama said, I just know how to fire a Brahmastra. I don't know how to call it back. My father did not teach me this. He just taught me how to fire this Brahmastra. Now what to do? Then we asked them, said, do one thing. Change the direction of it. The universe shall not be destroyed. You change the direction of your weapon. But the bad person, do they, what did he do? He is a bad person. He changed the direction of that weapon, Brahmastra, to Uttara Devi. She was pregnant at that time. And to destroy the whole complete generations of Pandavas. He targeted that Brahmastra to the womb of Putra to completely destroy the generation of Pandavas. And here, Putra Devi, she started, she was so scared, her body was shivering. And at that time, God Krishna, in a form, God Himself, in, He up entered the he entered the womb of Uttara and he destroyed the Brahmastra with the weapon, with this mace. He destroyed it. He destroyed the Brahmastra and he protected the womb of Uttara. And at that time, from Uttara's womb, a child take, took birth. That child, he was surprised. That I, I took darshan of Vishnu in my mother's womb and that same Vishnu is here with me. I am seeing in front of me. So his name became what? 
परीक्षित Express this. Then Ashwatthama, when he started to run, behind him, Bhim and Arjun, they were running behind him, and at the end, they caught him. And when he caught, then God said, "Krishna said, this is a terrorist. You know, Atatai, like terrorist." those those who kill other people for no reason for just selfish purpose person they are known as terrorists atatai they must be killed bhim and arjun they picked up their weapons to kill ashwatthama in that time god said look okay it's not good to kill him It's not good to kill him. Do one thing. Ask Dhrupadi. What punishment shall he be sentenced to? Because he killed the children of Dhrupadi, right? So let her decide what to do with him. They went to Dhrupadi. They grabbed Ashwatthama and took him to the feet of Dhrupadi. And Dhrupadi, she asked that if she said that. If I kill this person, will my children they become alive? No. Then look. Dhrupadi said, "Free him! Don't kill him." That time, by the instruction of God, on the forehead of Ashwatthama there was a very rare jewel. He put. They took that jewel from his forehead. And that jewel, when they took out from Ashwatthama, then Ashwatthama became completely powerless. He became like an ordinary animal, and he could not, he could even barely walk. He became so powerless and helpless. And then God, then he said, "Okay, let him be free now." Even till today, scriptures it is written that Ashwatthama had a. Boon that he will stay for four yogas. Even till today, Ashwatthama is alive. Satat Deta Dwapar Kali. These four yogas. So even till today, Ashwatthama is alive. Even Bhavishya Puran. It is explained that who will become the next Vyas in the next cycle? Ashwatthama will become. This katha is coming from the high class devotees. Even today, Ashwatthama is in Vrindavan. Right now, Ashwatthama, he is alive now. Sometimes, some saints they have seen him in Bihar forest. Ashwatthama is there. He is a huge body. The Dwapar Yuga body, the humans, they were very big size. Some saints have seen him. Slowly and slowly, the forests were cut. The deforestation happened in Vrindavan, right? So in Kokla, when you can see some forest, but all the places they have been, the deforestation has happened. All the forests have been destroyed. The beauty of Vrindavan, where is it? Like this, I just expressed the birth lila of uh, Parikshit Maharaj. Then there are many many kathas of Mahabharat. Yudhishthir Maharaj, he became king, and he sit on the throne of the king. 
Yudhishthir Maharaj, he ruled for how many years? Not more, I think maybe around 36 years he was the king. And then Yudhishthir Maharaj, it is explained in scriptures for 36 years, months and days. Everything is mentioned. In a scripture, it is written. After Mahabharat, how many kings were there? And how long did they rule? This all is explained. Then, Parikshit Maharaj was crowned the king. He was anointed as the king. And then, Parikshit Maharaj ruled for how many years? Do you remember? I think maybe 60 years. So like this, in scriptures it is coming. One day, Parikshit Maharaj, he was in the forest. He went to forest to hunt. At that time he saw that there was a cow, a thin cow, a very thin cow, and behind the cow he saw a bull who is trying to, who is standing on three legs. So bull and uh, the bad hunter is trying to attack them. That time Parikshita Maharaj became upset. He said, this so bad hunter, he is so cruel. Parikshita Maharaj picked up his weapon and at that time he said, this cow is Mother Earth. This bull, it is a form of dharma. The Kali Yuga is about to start. It started. Because the day when God, with his eternal associates, he went back to his transcendental world. And from that day onwards, Kaliyuk started. And Paichit Maharaj thought that no, so the Kali, the demon Kali, his thinking, his duty is to punish everybody and to make to struggle everybody. How can I grow the, the desire to commit sins in humans? So this is the duty of Kali. This is the duty of Kali to make people commit more and more sins. The Mother Earth, by the sins of humans, she was suffering so much. Mother Earth means all the righteousness, all the dharma was disappeared. Like purity, mercy, sympathy, empathy, everything was gone. In Kali Yuga, it's not there. It, it's not there in Kali Yuga. The start of Kali Yuga, how do people take bath? Do they stay pure? They lie. They eat bad things. This is Kali Yuga. It's not existing in Kali Yuga. It's very rare. It's very rare in a small quantity. What is it? There is no mercy. Pasu Hinsa, people are killing the animals. They have no sympathy towards anyone. See, this is Kali Yuga. The truth is like very, very rare in this world. In Kali Yuga, it is very rare to find something true. In donation and other things, if slowly and slowly they are disappearing. No one is going to do that in the coming future, I think. In scriptures it is coming. 
the more and more the age of kali will increase the more and more people will commit more and more and more sins this is the effect of kali yuga the humans they suffering so much and humans size of body is also decreasing shrimad bhagavat kali yuga ki prasanga mein in the where it is explained about kali yuga shri sukadev ko swami pad told so they were swami pad told that more and more kali yuga will come the more and more the people will commit more and more sins the more and more they will follow bad behavior there will be no sadhus ganga ganga yamuna tulsi they will disappear giriraj govardhan slowly and slowly he will get absorbed in the ground this is the truth in shrimad bhagavat this all explanation is coming now kaliyug how many years kaliyug 5500 so see kali yug even today is so much people will not do good deeds the more and more kali yug is increasing this now people are doing some little but when the kali yug will increase age of kali will increase then people will forget righteousness they will forget completely about sympathy they will follow bad behavior kali yug ki bhi they will commit many many sins But Parikshit Maharaj said, "No, in my kingdom, you demon Kali cannot stay here." So he picked up his weapon. The Kali was very, very clever. What did he do? He he came in the uh, shelter of Parikshit Maharaj. He said, "Oh dear King, what is the duty of the king?" whoever touches the feet of you you have to protect him you have to take care of sharnagati it is your responsibility to accept me because i am taking your shelter at that time parikshit maharaj he said what do you want he said i want to live in give me four place jatra adharma in four things kali yuga is there exists so where the people they were gambling yeah the gambling are okay kya sana people playing cards poker and things like this this is the place of kali ye share market jo hai the share market what is it share market stocks it is a place of kali gambling people invest a lot of money in share market the money increase and and it increase and increase and all the money is in loss hamare bhakto ko bahut se share market mein laga diya tha but some devotees tell me they put in share market and all the money is lost now history bhai dekho that's why kabhi never ek gambling mat karo don't do this gambling the share market investing in stocks and share market is also gambling people are thinking they will earn money it will multiply two times three times i have heard from many devotees where is your money go they tell me they invested in share market and they uh, the share market is always going up and down be careful don't invest in it so these like alcohol these things in kali exist so pakistan pare prabhupad he said the tea tea is also a place of uh, kali i am not saying this you can read in scripture at that time bhakti siddhant prabhupad said someone said to him maharaj you give give you just give order that people drink tea and chant holy names you will get many many disciples because people are addicted to tea but pratishan prabhu pad he said no i don't need such disciples those who drink tea 
Some people say, Maharaj, if I don't drink tea, then a headache comes to me. Because we are addicted to it. Right? So in scriptures it is coming. Bhaktisnan Prabhupada said, I don't need such disciples. Because because once they break a rule, then they keep breaking more and more rules. Those who are but if, if you have given concession on anything, then, then everyone will stand in the line of concession. This is true or not. If you give a special consideration to someone, then everyone will uh, break the rules. The, for example, there is concession for the, on the for example on the day of Ekadashi people can eat, but who can eat? People who are weak, people who are sick, they can eat some little. They can drink some water. But look, even today, we give little concession, and today in all the temples we see today, even in our temple I see. On the day of Ekadashi, they, can, they make a big festival, big feast, many, many dishes they cook. Because it was a little concession. See what happened. But if you say, everybody have to do Ekadashi, how? You will Nirjala. In Hari Bhakti Vilas it is written, if not take any drop of water on the day of Ekadashi, not even one drop of water shall go in your mouth. Then some people, they misinterpret it. They said, we will not drink milk. Oh, sorry, we will not drink water, we will drink milk, no problem. So on the day of Ekadhi, you should never drink water. Because where you give a little concession or special, con special consideration to someone, all the other people, they come in the line and break the rule properly. In Western countries, what happened? But over 60 years old, they give concession for many, many things, discount on many things. Oh, so they're like a special line for senior citizens and all the people, they will stand, try to stand in the same line. I'm saying this because Dutam Panam Striya Striya means like illicit association with uh, opposite gender. This is the biggest and biggest of sin associating illegally with opposite gender. So this is the place of Kali, illicitly, illegally associating with opposite gender is known as the place of Kali. This is the biggest of sin. You should get married and live properly as husband and wife. Then it is okay. But if you are unmarried, and you are associating with the opposite gender and you're doing this bad behavior, this is known as a place of Kali. The striyam, this means they're telling about the illicit association with women, with the opposite gender. So Bhakti Siddhan Prabhupada, he also explained about this. This is known as the place of Kali. Gold. Gold. Suna, sorry, Suna. This means like killing the animals. Sorry, it's not gold. So this is known like killing animals. So killing cows, killing animals. This is place of Kali. Even you cut the fishes, right? They slaughter the chickens. This is place of Kali. The Kali did not become happy. He asked, oh, please give me one space, one place more. He said, what? He said, I give me, let me stay in gold. Oh, gold is coming. At that time, Maharaj Parikshit said, okay. The Kali started to laugh when Parikshit Maharaj granted him this. Kali said, so no bamboo, no flute will be there. It's like a Hindi proverb. Like I will tell you. Hindi proverb. Kali, Kali. 
So Kali Yoga, he started to started to affect the mind of Parikshit Maharaj, the Kali. So this Katha is coming this way. And then Parikshit Maharaj, when he went to hunt in the forest, he started to run behind a deer and he went deep into the forest and the deer disappeared. It was summertime. Parikshit Maharaj, he was wandering here and there and what did he see? He saw a small ashram, the Samik Rishi ashram. At that time, Samik Rishi, he was absorbed in his mood and he was thinking about the God closing, in closed eyes. And at that time, Parikshit Maharaj, he asked for some water. I'm thirsty, he said. The Samikrishi was absorbed in his meditation at that time. He was thinking. He said two times, three times, and asked for water. And then, then King Parikshit, he became angry. He saw there was a snake nearby. That snake was no one else. Who was that snake? That was Kali, form of a snake. He was lying there. And he picked up the snake with his bow and he put the snake in the neck of Sankrishi. He said, I am king. And you are not respecting your king. I will give you a gift. This is the snake on your neck. And he went away and then in the meantime a child in the ashram said the Samikrishi's child Shringi he was playing with his friends they went and tell him oh see someone has put a snake in your father's neck it was the little child he came and he saw oh my god this is real there's a snake on the neck of my father dead snake. The child he cursed. He sentenced a curse that whoever who has put the snake into the neck of my father within seven days the takshak snake, deadly snake will come and bite that person and then they will die. The child of the ashram of the Muni, he was very powerful. Samikrishi sir, Sringi, he cursed. After some time, Samikrishi, he woke up from his meditation and he saw a snake on his neck. A dead snake on his neck was hanging. And that time, the child said, Father, whoever has put the snake in your neck, I have cursed that person already. Within after seven days, the takshak snake will, the deadly snake will come, takshak snake will come and bite them. So make sure she started to think, who came? No, no, who came here? I was in meditation. I do not know. And then again, he went in meditation and he realized, oh, it was not an ordinary person was here. He was, the King Parikshit was here. He said, oh son, what have you done? You have cursed such a nice king. If king is not good, how will the citizens stay happy? If a demon becomes the king, Will the citizens be happy? For example, Ravan was a very bad king. He used to charge a lot of tax from everybody. He made a beautiful palace of gold. He had all type of sense gratifications. But yet, Ravan said to, to collect tax, more and more tax from the citizens. Even in the in the forest, all the saints or the devotees in the forest, from all the Santa Mahatma, take tax from them also. Then, 
The demons, they ask the saints to ask for tax. We don't have any money. We are just wearing like threads. We are a piece of cloth on our body. We just have like few pieces of cloth. We just have one piece of cloth and we have just this one pot to drink water. Who gives money in forest, you tell me? Does someone pay? Or do anyone give fruits? Okay, here you put some, give some donation. And you give some fruits, but in forest, who is giving? The saint said, We don't have any money, we don't have a bank account. He said, No, you have to pay tax. Ravan, he declared, Who will not, if the saint not pay the tax, then bring his blood. Ravan, Ramayan, this is coming. He made an order, a saint, a devotee who does not pay tax, bring their blood to me. And depending on the results, the kingdom of Ravan collapsed. It got destroyed. I'm saying this because Rishi is saying, Maharaj Parikshit is a very righteous king and he of course this nice king after seven days he will die. There is no good king then how will the citizens be maintain themselves? Is this true or not? King should be righteous. He will be dharmic, follow the scriptures and he should be merciful. If he is following bad behavior, then how will the citizens be happy? Look, Samik Rishi became very upset. Maharaj Parikshit came in the meeting of Parikshit Maharaj and said, Maharaj, what to say? My son has cursed you. After seven days, Takshak will come and bite you and then you will die. Parikshit Maharaj heard this and he became so happy. Why? Why did he become so happy? He thought that I will live for seven days. I will not die after five days. I will not die tomorrow. When will I die? After seven days. So this is guarantee that I will live for seven days. Do we have guarantee that we will wake up tomorrow? No guarantee. We may die. Any second the death can come. Any second death can strike. In coronavirus, did you witness it or not? Did you listen or not? You must see in your neighborhood also. The COVID-19. Two years, it created a chaos in the whole world. You can see in the TV, right? In television you saw or not? How many people died? So many people died. You tell me, what to, who can predict that? Nobody. But Parikshit Maharaj, he knew that for seven days he will live. So in the meantime, Parikshit Maharaj, he called all the saints, all the Santa Mahatmas and asked for their suggestion. What shall we do for seven days? We are in this material world, we are thinking that we will not die. We have to die. We have to give up this body. We will not stay forever. But we will not die tomorrow. We will stay alive for at least, you tell me. How long do you want to live? How many years do you want to live? At least people are thinking, I will live for 100 years. People have this in their mind. Do you want or not? 100. 100 so today or tomorrow day after tomorrow or after 100 years we have to give up this body this death is this time it is it will happen it is not sure that that how long we will stay in this material world. We have to die. One thing is there in this world, 
that is the truth what is the truth death what is another truth god is the truth his name is the truth parikshit maharaj for this reason he called all the same and asked tell me what is the best thing to do in seven days all the sant mahatma they came the karmi sadhu he said maharaj you have so much money donate it the gyani sadhu he said attain knowledge read scriptures knowledge gives liberation yogi said do yog sadhana meditation practice in that assembly sukhdev ko swami entered and he told maharaj parikshit डिसीजन लर्निंग दैट इज गिवेन बाय द प्रीवियस आचार्य दैट आई एम टेलिंग टू यू the devotees the conclusion that they have given that same conclusion i will express in front of you what is that that do kirtan of hari naam listen and do kirtan of god's name kirtan and his form to listening bhagwat speaking bhagwat so here to dev goswami maharaj for 7 days he recited bhagwat to parikshit maharaj sukhdev ko sami paad tol to parikshit maharaj and at night so it was 7 days 7 nights continuously continuously every day continuously the bhagwat katha happened we sit for 1 hour right how how much hours maximum 1 hour we started at 6:45 and now it's all almost 7:45 it will end at 7:45 today it's about the 8 o'clock the katha is about to end now so what what can i express in one hour tell me sukhdevo sami told to parikshit maharaj he expressed bhagwat how much time Seven days, seven nights. People think you can listen only in the day, but what did they do at night? No, day and night, continuously. Bhagavatam it is proved. Can we sit for so long? We sit for one hour, three times. We have to move our legs, our back. We have to move for comfort. We don't have so much time. no time kaliyug kaliyug hai kintu simad bhagwat mein padh rahe hain kintu simad bhagwat is coming sukhdev goswami sukhdev goswami pad to barshit maharaj for 7 days 7 nights continuously he expressed hari katha sukhdev goswami ka expressed hari katha targeting barshit maharaj this katha is very very nice a conclusion the siddhant is coming the parikshit maharaj was so dharmic he used to why did he become angry ending on the fruits of it he picked up a deadly snake and he put it on the neck of samik rishi why i will tell you a secret about this in reality when parikshit maharaj he went to the forest to hunt or yase when he was thirsty samigrishi ke ashram mein when he entered the ashram of samigrishi at that day parikshit maharaj the crown on the head of parikshit maharaj was jarasandh was the crown of jarasandh was a bad person the kings they wear a crown right they 
different different rounds but by the desire of god that day parikshit maharaj was wearing the crown of charasand and he went to the forest wearing that crown what is the meaning if you use something that is used by a bad person for example crown their clothes so if you use it then your mind will be contaminated it will be disturbed a bad person if you use something from a non devotee if you take it and use it then your mind will be destroyed it will be disturbed in scriptures it is coming god is saying god accepts offerings by whom by devotees god grab the offerings from them god for example shri chaitanya mahaprabhu sachinandan gaur hari in navadeep dham he used to went to the goat in the shop of shridhar he was very poor vegetable seller he used to grab the flower of kale banana the leaves of banana he used to mahaprabhu he used to grab vegetables from him <coughs> the mocha the and the loki he did not pay money he said nima you come daily and you take vegetables from me at least pay me mahaprabhu nima said nima said you are very rich and shridhar said no no i am a poor brahman mahaprabhu said no no you are the rich with wealth of love but shridhar was very near and dearest devotees of mahaprabhu in chaitanya bhagavat this is coming a non devotee god never accept their offerings so learning is coming here parikshit maharaj the day when he went to the forest in the ashram samikrishi and that day on his head there was crown of jarasand and that time kali came Okay, let's get absorbed in hari katha again so sulasukadev ko swami pad he expressed bhagwat to parikshit maharaj for 7 days 7 nights parikshit maharaj parikshit maharaj he put up many questions and sukadev ko swami pad answered all the questions the time is less quickly i will try to express it in the the singha avlokan meaning meaning like looking over from the top like taking a quick look at something like taking quick look at something इस प्रकार सिर सुखदेव गोस्वामी बाल परीक्षित महाराज के अनुसार तो है अनेक कथा सुनाया ये मनी मनी कथा तो परीक्षित So there are ten tatvas explained shrimad bhagavat the ten qualities are explained this is more explained like in the third canto then he tell told about the appearance of bhagavatam told about the conversation between vyas and narad then vyas dev himself by ved puran he wrote history everything 
feeling good at the end nardrishi appeared and he told him you are feeling restless because the puran that you have written in that puran everyone's mind will be disturbed why because in puran you did not write properly that who is the supreme personality of godhead you pick up any scripture any puran you will see that if you put vishnu puran you will think that vishnu is god if you put up shri if you put brahma puran brahman puran you will think brahma ji is god if you put up read shiv puran you will feel that lord shiva is the supreme god all the puran can you pick up you will your mind will be confused so who is the supreme personality of god had if the god is one then why have you write written in a very confusing language second thing is what is the what is the ultimate goal who is the worshipper of the jivas tell me about it dharma artha kaam moksha dharma artha kaam this is not the ultimate goal of the jivas even the liberation mukti this is not the fourth thing dharma artha kaam moksha this is not the fourth thing what is beyond mukti liberation what is beyond that tell me you so you did not write properly narad narad ji told to vyas whatever you have written in the scriptures you did not write properly what is beyond mukti what is beyond liberation you did not describe properly what is after liberation you shall describe about the beautiful divine love for krishna because the nature of the soul is to be the servant of krishna krishna the jeevas the souls are the eternal servants of krishna it is their responsibility and duty to serve krishna naturally in different modes chand das sasak ke vatsal mein in santras there is no service what is there in santras there is only nishtha and he is prabhu just this in santras in das the the desire to serve it, it arises in sakharas it contains the mood of friendship and vatsalaras the four things come the nishtha the desire to serve and the mood of friendship and mitrata bhav aur and the mood of parental affection these all things come in this mood and in madhuraras five things are there the nishtha the desire to serve the mood of friendship the mood mood of parental affection vatsal so the qualities of all other things and desire to serve and the they have this mood like the the mood of beloved i am saying this because the jeevas they are eternal servants of krishna seva hame seva hi parma dharma serving is the best is it is dharma how do you serve someone is serving in the mood of friendship like subal shri dam they are serving krishna nanda yashoda how are they serving krishna in the mood of parental affection they are serving krishna as their beloved to save serving is the best thing it is the param dharma top most dharma top most religion to follow so just they all the scriptures that you have written but properly you did not explain things properly and second reason you told about the leela of krishna you did not put it in sequence
मथुरा दिस कृष्ण द्वारका दिस कृष्ण एंड वृंदावन कृष्ण यू डोंट लिसन दिस लीलास प्रॉपरली यू नॉट टेल इट प्रॉपरली पीपल डोंट नो दैट हु इज कृष्ण हु इज वृंदावन कृष्ण मथुरा दिस कृष्ण और द्वारका दिस कृष्ण वृंदावन कृष्ण इज इन वृंदावन इज ऑलवेज इन वृंदावन द मथुरा दिस कृष्ण इज इन मथुरा द द्वारका दिस कृष्ण इज इन द्वारका नंदन कृष्ण इज इन वृंदावन सो दिस ऑल वी हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड देन नारद ऋषि सेड यू राइट इट ऑल प्रॉपर्ली एंड पुट इन सीक्वेंस व्यास देव सेड हाउ पॉसिबल आई विल डू दिस देन ही सेड हैव टू एब्सॉर्ब्ड इन भक्ति योग व्यासदेव जी ही टूक शेल्टर ऑफ भक्ति योगा फॉलो द प्रोसेस एंड पाथ ऑफ भक्ति देन ही विटनेस्ड ऑल द लीलर्स ऑफ वर्ल्ड ऑल इज ब्यूटिफुल पास टाइम्स ही सो एंड आफ्टर टेकिंग दर्शन at the end he wrote the last scripture last puran shrimad bhagavatam he manifested this scripture and he, he wrote this bhagavan swayam krishna is the god supreme personality of god all the other matsya kurma varaha they are incarnations of god so there is incarnation and one is the source of incarnation krishna is the source of incarnation he is the source of all incarnations samita it is explained govinda madi purusham i worship him ram narsingh vara they are all manifestations of krishna they are incarnations of krishna krishna is one but he is manifesting many many forms this is known as achinta bheda bhed tatva bhagwan ek hi god is one it is our chinta inconceivable potency he is manifesting many many incarnations with his endless power endless shakti he is uh, taking endless infinite forms jeev shakti jeev shakti shakti jeev shakti and maya shakti three types of shakti he has many many powers these they have many many shaktis many many powers but these three are the primary ones धर्म अर्थ काम मोक्ष दे आर नॉट द अल्टीमेट गोल ऑफ द जीव उद्धव एंड बिग बिग स्कॉलर्स दे आर परफॉर्मिंग हार्ड ऑस्टेरिटीज एंड रोनाउंसिएशन टू अटेन दिस प्रेम इवन टिल टुडे उद्धव नियर राधा कौंड on the near kutum sarovar and on the opposite side of kutum kusum sarovar there is udhav kund ha aur we were udhav aaj tak bhi even till today udhav is doing austerities there to attain that mood to attain the mood of raj to get the prem of raj i am saying this because shrimad bhagwat it is proving भगवान की ऐसी लीला को 
expressed many many about the kathas of many many kings in front of parikshit maharaj there were many many big kings in this world some their big big donors they donate so much the shivi maharaj katha is there and king harish chandra katha so big big kings katha is there in scriptures why so after donating so much a saint uh, came and he donated so like just donating to normal people a saint also came and he took the donation this gives million times benefit so there are thousands of poor who are donating to poor but in that same crowd there was one saint who was doing bhajan and you unknowingly give him donation so what do you get the sukriti comes so if you donate to poor you get punya but if you donate to devotees high class devotees then sukriti comes so this is the difference punya means like good deed so there's a sukriti and punya two different things so if you if someone is uh, starving of food you give them food that is punya like a good deed good karma depending for the good karmas with this thing you can go to heaven and when this uh, is, uh, and then you have to come back from heaven so but if you donate something to a high class devotee it was sant mahatma what does it become it becomes sukriti pious activity and depending on the fruits of it you get association of sadhu then you get interest in listening bhagavat katha not everyone is interested to listen in scriptures this is coming if many many lifetimes if if you have collected sukritis then you get the fortune to sit in the association of a sadhu previous life sukritis when they accumulate and mature then depending on the fruits of that sukriti then you get sadhu sangha and in sadhu sangha you get interest taste the taste comes to listen hari katha nobody uh, gets is interested to listen hari katha generally having taste in hari katha it's so rare it's not easy many many lifetime sukritis when they are accumulated and collected then when they mature then they get taste in bhagavat katha then they will sit in bhagavat katha otherwise they will not sit the maya will not let you sit yesterday i told you the four daughters of yamraj they automatically come at the place where hari katha jab hai the daughters of yamraj will run away just chant the name of god loudly yesterday i told you right wherever you are listening bhagavat katha hari katha happening there four daughters of yamraj they come they will not let you listen why is it is impactful because there is lack of sukriti nothing else but if you have sukriti then you will have taste in bhagavat katha you will have interest to listen bhagavat katha for those who have done the vigra seva archan of god vishnu they are qualified only they can chant the name they can get this japamala they can chant holy names god is saying arjun Oh, what is saying arjun listen not one life time for 100 life times 100 life those who have served vasudev deities to have the archan of the deities only in their mouths the harinam will manifest they will get developed taste in katha then 
That's why Sukriti is very important. Once upon a time, someone asked Gurudev, Gurudev, you tell me, how can we attain God? How can we develop taste in the na name? Gurudev said, collect Sukritis. No, nothing you have to do. Nothing you need to do. Then you can attain God. Just collect Sukritis. Serve Sadhu. Chant holy names. They uh, mature the Sukritis that you have. The more and more association of Sadhu we do, the more and more Harikata we listen, the more and more Sukriti will develop. And when the when the Sukriti is completely matured, then the taste will come in Harikata and Bhakti will manifest also. Like Sukhdev Goswami Pad, he expressed many many kathas to Parikshit Maharaj. So what was I discussing about? Today is the fourth day. Today we are to celebrate the appearance day of Krishna. The time is almost up. It's 8 o'clock. You all are coming from very far away, I know. You have to go back on the time right because you will not stay here at night. Please everybody stay here at night, I request. Take, take Prashad and Harikatha. Why do you want to go? So here there are many many Kathas are coming. Which Katha shall I speak? Shall I not? The time is very less. So I will tell you the Katha of Ajamil in two seconds. I will tell, I want to tell you about, I want to express about the uh, glories of Holy Name. Even the biggest of biggest of sinners, if they chant the name of God, all their sins get destroyed. There was a Brahman named Jamil. He had many, many wealth and money. He was a good Brahman, he used to follow good behavior. Every day he used to do fire sacrifice. This is the responsibility of a Brahman. He used to do fire sacrifice daily. And then if he would go to, went to forest and used to collect dry wood for the forest. And then he did fire sacrifice. One day in the forest, when he was collecting the dry wood in the meantime, he saw a, a bad person and prostitute. He saw a prostitute and his mind got polluted. He saw a prostitute and man. He was, uh, the, he was doing fire sacrifice, Ajamil, but his mind was absorbed in the prostitute. At the end, Ajamil gave up everything and he went to the woman who was uh, following bad behavior. And in her womb, he gave birth to ten children. Like he, with that, that prostitute, he gave birth to ten children and he named the last child, he named the last child Narayan. So then the name should be good. You don't put names like Hakku, Bakku, Chakku, like nonsense names, non-meaning names. Don't put names like this. No. Put the name Ram, Narayan, Govind. How beautiful they are. If you have daughter Radha, Lalita, at least you will then you will chant the name and write. So Ajahamil, in that prostitute's womb, so he gave birth to ten children with her, but he named the last child Narayan. And at the time of death, Ajamil, he called his child Narayan. Then what happened? The Narayan has four words, Narayana. So the four Vishnu Dutes came. The servants of Vishnu came. And and by body, mind, by speech, he is committed sins. So three Yamduts came, the servant of Yam came. Vishnu Dut explained to them, 
है वो यम दूत है लोक अजामील इज अ सिनर बट ही इज चांटेड द नेम ऑफ गॉड For once, even unknowingly, who takes the name of God, their all their sins are destroyed. The glories of holy name is so much. It is endless. The servants of uh, hell, the Yamdoots, they became surprised and they complained to Yam Maharaj. These, those four people in the form of Vishnu, they came and they broke the uh, blocked our path. They did not let us bring the sinner as I mean here. Then the king of hell, Yam Maharaj, he said, "You are very fortunate." that you took darshan of the servants of vishnu and at that time the king of hell announced i am telling you where you have to go and where you don't have to go A person, was those a person, those who don't even chant the name of God once, go to them. Yamar, the king of hell said, one who says the name of God anyhow, for even once, all their sins get destroyed. They will not go to hell. By your mind, just think about God. By your hand, you offer pranams. And Yamuna King of Hell said, "Don't go to these persons." Vishnu Kritam. This word means the people, those who follow Ekadashi, the Yamudhuts, the uh, people of Hell, the servants of Hell, they will not come. Those who don't follow Ekadashi, they will go to them. Meaning, what did he say? Vishnu Kritam, the commenters of the scriptures, they say, Ram Navmi, you should observe it. It was the appearance day of Ram Chandra. Ram Navmi, the birthday of Ram Chandra. The Krishna Janmashtami, the birth of Krishna, nursing Chaturdashi, Vishnu Kritam. This word is applied on all these occasions, and the Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's appearance day, Gaur Purnima. So, if you observe these uh, occasions, then you will not go to hell for sure. This is in scriptures. Ajami heard this when Vishnu Dut and Yam Dut, when they were talking. Ajami was thinking. I just called my child Narayan. I just chanted that name, and look, servants of Vishnu, they protected me, and they scared away the Yamdoots. That time, Ajami gave up everything. He went to Haridwar on the banks of Ganga. He sat down and he was drinking the Ganga jal, and he started to chant the holy names. Then again, that same servants of Vishnu. They came. They came in a divine vehicle, divine transport, and they took him to Vaikuntha. A Tommy asked one question to them. At that time, you were here. Why did not you take me back then? Look, with the Nama Bhas, you can get Mukti, but the Prem does not manifest. Did not manifest at that time. Now, by after chanting holy names again and again, by the mercy of Nam Prabhu, by association of sadhus, the prem is there in your heart now. That's why now you can, now you're qualified, and now you can enter Vaikunt. There is one solution. There is only one way to enter Vaikunt. 
Can't hear you. Let's go and explore the sins will get destroyed. The Namabas will also come. Then again after sadhu, association of sadhu, then praying for Krishna will manifest in the heart. Then you can go. I am saying, if you want to go Vaikuntha, you can go in one lifetime. But if you want to go to Golo Vrindavan, how many lifetimes will you need for this? How many lives? Do you know? At least three lives. Three lives. Why? Why three lives? So after this, first you have to take birth in the Leela, where Leela is happening in another universe, you have to take birth there from the womb of a gopi. And then you have to be in association of the eternal gopis. You have to learn from the gopis in the college of love. Then with their association, then Anurag towards Krishna, deep attachment will come for Krishna, then you will become eternal associate and you can go to Bhagavad Dham. If you want to go Vaikuntha, you can go. You can go in one lifetime. Who want to go Vaikuntha, tell me. Some people say, I want to go. Who want to go Vaikuntha, tell me. If Someone wants to become maid servant of Radha. At least three lives will, uh, three lifetimes are needed. Don't be scared. To get a normal job, you will get it on a normal certificate. Like you, you get a uh, high school secondary certificate, and you become a. You can become. You can like clean the office with that certificate. Cleaner. So after 10th class with that certificate, very hard you pass that certificate and you got this job to clean it as a job of a cleaner. But if you, if someone wants to become engineer, doctor, lawyer, they have to study more or not, or otherwise they will, uh, or just they will study for like school, on their school certificate they will get the job. They will have to go to entrance exams. They won't get any words after straight after high school. For five years, ten years, they have to study also. Then they will get the job that they desire. How everything can be equal? No, if you want to go by Kunta, you can go. Ajamil went in one one lifetime. One life. And if you want to attain the mood of Gopi to become the Saki of Sri Radha, you have to make some efforts. The Katha of Ajami that we heard in uh, short, I told you in very, very short, just to express the glories of the holy name in front of you. All. The Ajami's character, he was a sinner. He did sins, but he did not commit offense in the feet of Vaishnavas. That's why Namabhas came in his tongue. Who criticizes Vaishnav? Namabhas is far away from them. No Namabhas for them. That's why never criticize a Vaishnav. So I will move forward in Katha and then after Rajani Katha there are many many Kathas are there. Now let's enter the last phase of the Katha. The thing that we are discussing today is Krishna Janamashtami. So, this katha how can I express so quickly? Look, Lasukdev Goswami Pad. 
इन फ्रंट ऑफ परीक्षित महाराज टू एक्सप्रेस मैनी मैनी लीलाज द बर्थ ऑफ कृष्ण एक्सप्रेसिंग मैनी मैनी लीलाज So here, Kansa, was a very bad behavior person. But his old age father, Ugrasen, he was a very nice king. But Kans, he did not listen to Ugrasen because he followed bad behavior. रियलिटी दिस कंस दिस वॉज नॉट द रियल किंग ऑफ अग्रसेन ही टुक बर्थ फ्रॉम अंस ऑफ अ डीमन दैट्स वाई कंस वॉज अ बैड पर्सन सो लुक कंस ही वॉज थिंकिंग विद देव की डिसाइडेड टू मैरी सिस्टर देव की टू वासुदेव एंड देन वट डिड ही डू ही कंडक्टेड देयर मैरिज एंड देन आफ्टर देयर मैरिज हिमसेल्फ ही वॉज सिटिंग ऑन द चैरियट देव के वासुदेव ही वॉज वॉकिंग मेन टाइम द वॉइस फ्रॉम द स्काई केम ओ यू क्रूअल पर्सन ओ यू फूलिश पर्सन कंस देव की दैट यू हैव मैरिड योर सिस्टर सो हैप्पी एंड यू आर मेकिंग हर सिट ऑन योर चैरियट सो प्राउडली डू यू नो दैट द एट in the eighth child of devaki will be your death he will kill you and sang vishnu he tumhari vishnu will be a reason of your death itne sunte hi will be the cause of your death and kans heard this and he jumped out from his chariot and he grabbed the hairs of his sister devaki and he pulled her down and he took out his sword and he said no bamboo no flute so uh, i will prove the voice of the demigods the voice of the sky i will prove it wrong i will prove it that this was a lie then in the meantime vasudev maharaj he said kans i promise you the eighth child of devaki i will hand it over to you when the eighth child will take birth i will give it to you then you can kill him the new one baby you kill him kans was thinking this vasudev maharaj he is a very truthful person is a nice person he will not lie he's an honest person so but yet the doubt came in his heart that must they so was they brought dev ki back and uh, they trapped dev ki dev ki so that she might not run away another she came and asked to kans what did the what was the voice of the sky you tell me they said that the devaki's eighth child will come and kill me nandri she said okay tell me who is the eighth child who will be the eighth child how many days are there seven days in a week right so where will you start from you tell me first is sunday or first is monday which day is come first sunday sunday in some calendars they consider monday the first day 
There's like a cycle of seven years. Okay, there's, if you put eight laddus, eight pieces of sweets, then tell me which one is the first, which one is the first sweet, which one is the first laddu amongst them. If you put in a circle, make a circle of eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which is the first one? Tell me. Kansa said, Gurudev, my eyes have opened now. Kansa said, what is the meaning? Vishnu is very clever. In the first womb, in the first child, he will say this is the eighth child, and the eighth child he will consider the first child. Vishnu is very clever with his tricks. So it's what, comes, what should you do? So Nardashi said, so there will be, if there is no bamboo, then how will the flute will be played? Like Hindi proverb, meaning is that kill all the children of Devki, one by one kill all of them. But don't know which in which womb Vishnu will come, in which birth Vishnu will come. When Nadrushi said this, and Kans, he put Devki and Vasudev in prison. One by one he killed the six children. Mother, she said, Look, in your past life, who were you? Call me. These six children in your past life that are killed, these six children. So the commentators and scriptures they are saying this. Kansa one by one he killed the six children of Devki. When the seventh child was about to come, when the seventh child took birth, Yog Maya, what did she do? From she transferred the child in that womb of Devki and put it into the womb of Rohini. So everybody knew, everybody, it was preached, you know, everybody was told that the Devki's seventh child was killed in the womb. So then who was in the seventh child? It was the Baladev, Akanda Guru Tattva, Baladev Prabhu. Before God comes, the God's servants, they come first. So he appeared first, Baladev Prabhu appeared first. Baladev Prabhu is Bhagavad Tattva, but yet, he has uh, the like he has pride he has proud on that he is the best servant like he is a servant so Baladev Prabhu is Akhand Guru Tattva Baladev Prabhu is Bhagavad Tattva so Baladev Prabhu he came in Yogmaya, what did she do? She put the child from Devaki's womb and put it into the womb of Rohini. This all Tattva Siddhanta is very, very confidential. And here, one more thing is there. 